Willkommen zurück, meine lieben Freunde. Ich bin über Odo. Ich hoffe, ihr könnt euch noch erinnern, wir sind noch mitten in Disco Elysium. Wir haben den Mordfall noch nicht aufgeklärt, aber wir kennen, glaube ich, so ziemlich alles, was man kennen kann. Es gibt noch ein paar Orte, wo wir nicht drinnen waren. Diesen Ort hier. Ich getraut, hier aufzumachen. Wir versuchen ihn einfach aufzumachen. Was soll schon passieren? Ha, door shut. Right. Right. How can we get in there? We don't get in there. What do you mean? We get into like everywhere. Frankly, you're just going to have to accept the fact that you can't get in through every single door. No, no. We've gotten into every door thus far. That's what we do. We open doors. We're cops. That's our perk. <laughs> Even Everard knew that's a part of our MO. Okay, but that's who I am, who we are. I'm not gonna accept this. The door could be part of this investigation. But that's who I am, who we are. Yeah, I understand you. I like opening doors as much as the next guy. But this one is simply beyond repair and we don't have the resources needed to open it. Relax, no one's hiding in there. If we can't open it, others can't either. And thus they can't get in. Hmm. Trotzdem wäre es nett gewesen, reinzukommen. At least you can think about opening it, about doors in general. They are, after all, fundamental to your life. Perhaps something useful will come from this. Ah. Oh. Wir haben immerhin einen Fort dafür gekriegt. One more door. Oh, während wir es researchen, kriegen wir sogar plus eins auf Half-Light und es dauert nur 45 Minuten. God damn it, like, it cannot be a disgrace. That door on the coast, you remember the one, right? The one that leads to the abandoned supply depot? Why in the name of all that's holy does it not open? Why? There has to be a, a way to get through that unopenable door. By God, you're the police. All doors are supposed to open before you. <laughs> uh, what will the others at the think? think if you can't open a goddamn door there must be a way ich glaube nicht dass wir sie öffnen können aber es ist auf jeden fall sehr witzig okay gut wir schauen jetzt mal nach was diese dinge alle können okay das ist eigentlich wurscht das brauchen wir nicht mehr weil ich meine im moralist uh, ding nehmen wir nie Uh, was ist das? Bonuses from the fort. Learning cap for rhetoric. Race to five. Plus one of conceptualization. Das klingt schon mal gut. Das lassen wir drinnen. Speed gives one. Ja, das können wir auch weg tun, weil Speed wirkt nicht mehr auf uns. Also das können wir auf jeden Fall mal weg, weil das bringt nichts. Confirm. Was das plus 10 cents for every year, das lassen wir drinnen. Bonus is from the fault. Find better loot in locked containers. Können wir eigentlich nachher auch rausgeben, weil wir wollen alle möglichen Sachen erforschen noch. Wofür haben wir die ganzen Skill Points, wenn wir sie nicht ausgeben? Plus 1 XP for every orb clicked. For every orb clicked. All intellect learning caps raised by one. Okay, das lassen wir drinnen. Plus three shivers, the third presence. Oh, das ist gar nicht so schlecht. Plus one's a warfare, this one sounds fancy, let's have this. Plus one is three decor, ist auch nicht schlecht. Yep, fancy, let's have this one too. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, wie ich das behalten will. Das ist einfach nur dumm. <lacht> ich 
glaube, das war ich dann auch raus. Plus 20% Zoom Out Distance. Was? All Motorics Learning Caps Race by One. Okay. Das ist gut. E und Geld. Aber minus 3 auf Suggestion. Wer braucht schon Suggestion? Das wissen wir noch nicht. Ja, okay, das, das haben wir auch raus. Jetzt. Rigorous Self-Critique. Cop of the Apocalypse. Können wir das auch internalisen? Wir können das sogar gleichzeitig machen. Wir machen One More Door auch. Einfach, einfach, wenn ich es kann. Diese Dinge sind einfach großartig. Schon allein, weil der Text dumm ist. Okay, noch einmal in die Kirche. Schauen wir mal. Vielleicht ist unter Tag ja mehr los. Waren wir das letzte Mal auch unter Tag dort? Ich glaube, wir waren unter Tag dort. Wie gesagt, nicht offen. Hey, her innocence Dolores Day liked little figurines, right? Likes holding little men between her fingers, remember? What? No, I don't remember anything. I don't want to think about it. Goodbye. You have the headless foul rider figurine. You should give it to her. Win her back. Ah, interessant. I should, yes. This is a task of mine now. So very, very, very mythy. Mythy and mysterious. This is surely what the figurines are for. Okay. Of figurines to Dolores Day. Na dann machen wir das doch glatt. The mother of humanism stands above you. A precious and complex wax painting on a single pane of glass. A crack runs across the length of her body. Her face oval and sad. It looks like I can't give this figurine to her. Because she's a stained glass window. Seem to be a problem. Maybe you meant something else. Like what? Still on? I don't know. What are we thinking of? Part of your mind has gone on to other things already. Könntest du aufhören Reaction Speed? A strange little sadness remains. The mother of humanism towers above you. A wax painting on a crack. Of glass. Nothing has changed in her expression. Why? That does seem to be a problem. The mother of humanism towers above you. Okay. It's painting on a crack. Ich fürchte, die Aufgabe ist weiterhin da, oder? Das heißt, wir finden irgendwas anderes für sie. Wir könnten uns natürlich noch den Computer anschauen. Das haben wir noch nicht gemacht. Stimmt. Und ansonsten gibt es hier nichts. Das sind hier auch keine Krabbenmänner. Das ist interessant. The silence in this part of the church, it's almost palpable. All the shifting matter and shuffling of living things is gone. Nothing seems to exist beyond the church anymore. Maybe if you were to stand in just the right spot, even your footsteps would be completely silent. Wait, I think I still hear something. And then it's gone. Almost all of it, but for the faintest of hums. It seems the sound here is detached from its source somehow, if not blotted out outright. 
truly I need you. Ooh. You can hardly hear your own breathing. Yeah, as loud as you can. Stomp your feet and your hands. You produce a few muffled thumps, after which the silence feels even more total somehow. Your voice is barely audible. Not a howl, but the softest of whimpers. Okay. It's unnerving. What's happening? The lieutenant points to his ears and shakes his head. Then he leans closer. Can you hear anything? Almost nothing. And it's beginning to worry me. The church just has strange acoustics, some engineering tricks. His detached tone conceals how uncomfortable he is. Maybe the church was designed this way to prevent boisterous activity, singing and dancing on its premises. Show that was on. Maybe they wanted to discourage singing and dancing. Hmm. Could be. The orderly rows of ceiling panels become barely visible then disappear completely in the darkness of the tower overhead. Okay, warte mal, das wollte ich so schön nur mal schauen. Ich kann während so einem Ding uh, meine Skill Points hergeben. Das ist cool. Ich könnte Perception jetzt erhöhen, wenn ich wollte. Während dieses Dings. Hm. What if I don't want to know what's up there? The silence. The dark. They've enveloped you as in a cocoon. You cannot move anymore. Relax. It'll be okay. Oh. Die einzige Möglichkeit hier rauszukommen ist der Check. Ich kann mich also nicht mehr verbessern. Das, ist, das kann ich mich nicht machen. Ich kann nichts mehr anlegen, was meine Perception erhöht. Naja, dann. Ich werde sicher keine Skill Points dafür ausgeben. Hm, schade. Acht hat nicht gereicht, neun wäre es gewesen. Just darkness without end. It makes your head spin. Try to make out something, anything. Filled with vague shapes of woodwork. The sense of a great height. You see something hanging from the rafters, looking straight at you with dark eyes. Ooh, that is us. The Crabman. Maybe it's possible to talk to it. Is that a man? Looks more like. Part of the carpentry of the building came alive and is now studying you intently. The crab man. Hey, who's there? This the police, show yourself. Nothing, be quiet for now. Um, are you the crab man? The man leaned forward a little, fixing you with a steady, unreadable gaze, then speaks. Huh? Habitual alcohol use has made you into a scared little pussy, Holmes. But don't worry. Everything's gonna be all right. You've come to the right place. Danke, Tiago. Ich weiß, dass ich ein, ein durch und durch ekelhafter Drunkard bin. That accent is Villa Lobos, a peninsula in Mesk and a district in Jamro. There's a sizable contingent of Villa Lobos speaking Mesks in Riverdale. Okay. As a Mexicano. The right place for what? What are you doing here? Here you can receive the mother's love. And when you're ready, she will take your hand and lift you out of the despair at the bottom of that box. And lift you the bottom of the bottle. This man is obviously a habitual narcotics user. Do we really need to question him? I'm put off by this religious stuff, he thinks, and maybe 
the ceiling climbing too. It's all very hard to square with the lieutenant's own view of reality. Mm -hmm. Hey, Ned, what was that about the bottle again? You haven't even drank that much lately. Lay off it already. Sheesh. Yeah, I guess I have a bit of a problem. It's been getting out of hand lately, but I'm a policeman. I need to talk to you about police things. I don't know anything about alcohol use. Denial, was he? Has that rule away? I see deep inside you. Your body and your spirit are suffering gravely from overindulgement. And you don't even know it. Great. More patronizing. So original. Oh, I'm very in touch with my suffering. <laughs> Do you know what I'm feeling? I'm actually here on behalf of some young people looking to establish a nightclub. I was like you once, just dragging my feet to the next bar. Shit was dark, Holmes. You know, actually, since we're here, you may want to pay attention to what the ceiling climber is saying. <laughs> <laughs> if the lieutenant agrees, then maybe, just maybe, you should pay attention. Fuck you, crap man! You don't tell us what to do! Tell him! Ah, horrific necktie. Ich hab dich gar nicht an, oder? Wie kannst du mit mir reden? For some reason, I feel like you have a point there. Who do you think you are? Some creepy guy under the roof? What is this shit? You know, alcohol is central to my identity. If I wouldn't drink, I just wouldn't be me. Hmm. This is stupid. I don't even know what this is. That's all well and good, but we need to talk about the unlicensed occupation of ecclesiastic property. For some reason, I feel you have a point there. Don't trust me. Trust the mother. I'm only the messenger, Holmes. This is the church of the mother of silence. You are welcome here. This thing, Mother of Silence, he's always gently on the beams, waiting for you to take it all. This Mother of Silence sounds like a serious player. You might want to be careful until you find out what you're dealing with. Hmm. You must be the crabman. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. Do you know where the other spooker is? Point at the strange machine around you. Spooker? Esa viejita es muy estudiosa. <laughs> Don't know, Holmes. Wait, so there is another person living in the church, and it's a uh, viejita. No, I just call her viejita because of her clothes. She's actually quite young, or maybe not that young. Age is just one of the many masks we wear. Mm -hmm. Wait, what if it's Ruby? Did it ever seem to you like she was hiding here from something? Mm -hmm. You mean like a fugitive? Mm -hmm. No, man. Quite the opposite. I don't think she cared much about authority or anything else for that matter. Maybe only about her machines. I see. And where is she now? I told you, Holmes. I don't know. Okay. How can you not know that when you both live here? Don't really follow her comings and goings. Just see her typing on her computer now and then. We got different interests. So you've got nothing else to tell me? How she looks? What she does? Who is she? I'm afraid not, S.A. You just have to wait until she comes back, or... Or search through her radio computer. Okay, das könnten wir natürlich machen. You must be the crab man. Never know myself to be a crab. But if that's the name you got for me, I won't stop you from using it. 
to be fair, it's really more like a spider. I always thought of myself more like a flame, flickering along the rafters and beams. It may be that I gotta work on my technique. That's not the only technique he's working on. Look at those carved sculptures. And is that a satchel of tools over there? Wait, did you also carve all those sculptures? Sure am. Whittling wood used to be something I just did to busy my hands. Now I use those same hands in service of something greater than my own restlessness. Okay. Also, die müssten wir wahrscheinlich raushauen, damit die Raver ihre Partys hier feiern können. You've got some nice curves going there. Squint your eyes. These seem a tad derivative. You're promoting the objectification of women with your reactionary depiction of female. <laughs> Honestly, I don't get it. All these figures look half finished. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hmm. Timmy man, yeah. It's all just for the mother, man. No need to overthink it. What were you before you became a crab man and wound carver? Gangway, but my memories of that time are faded. Most of them are already gone. And so many people losing their memory. Certain portent doom. <laughs> I lost my memory too. It haunts me. I lost my memory too, but I like it. It's like I get to create a whole new me. Start again. So you used to be in a gang, but you don't really remember it. Sounds convenient. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. Um. Nah, Esse, it's not like that. Best thing that could happen to you, losing your memory. Is this this? Do you remember your name, sir? The lieutenant is not particularly interested in this information. He's just trying to assert some control over the conversation. Tiago's my name, but those syllables don't mean much to me these days. A name isn't just your identity, but also, so to speak. Your place okay. amongst your fellows, your place in the world. I ain't got no use for such a place anymore. My name is Harry. Extend your hand for greeting. My name sets me apart from my fellows. How often do you meet a Raphael Ambrosius Gusto? My name is Harry Dubois. And my place in the world is Lieutenant Double Riff Writer. I don't do name either. Names either. Names are out. I don't care what mine is. <laughs> Don't think I met one yet, Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? This is a special place. There's a perforation in the world up there. A way out into nothingness. This church was built around me for purposes of veneration. <laughs> I circled it, nurtured by the silence bestowed by the mother. One of these days, I'll be pure enough to go drink from it directly. Mm -hmm. The smother of silence, you mean her? Point to the window. What will happen once you drink from this perforation? I still don't understand what's you, what you're doing in the church. Are these yours? I think they were, a long time ago. I had to shed them like skins to get mm -hmm. closer to the center of the silence. Yeah, when so you could have them, I don't need them anymore. Okay. This mother of silence, you no, mean her? No, no, there's a new god in town, and she can be painted 
or sculpted because she has no limb or even a face. She is the end. Mm -hmm. The apocalypse comes she at the end. She is in the dark beyond sense. She saved me, but I couldn't describe her to you. No one can, Holmes, and no one ever will. What will happen once you drink from me? I will be incinerated, but not destroyed. Finally, I won with the state of the world before reality began. Okay. You sure you didn't switch? You didn't just switch one drug for another? It's not like that at all, man. It's just faith and joyful service. Okay. Too gleeful those words. He is lying. Not to you. To his very own self. Hmm. Faith is a kind of drug. Hey, not judging. I've got drug problems myself. I guess you have a point. Let's agree to disagree. I was being insensitive. Sorry. Let's move on. I heard that before, Wei. And I know I can't convince you on the spot. But think. When's the last time you woke up from silent communion with a hangover? Regretting what you did last night. There are drugs darker than alcohol circling your system. I think love might have been my drug of choice. And I think I'm still hung over from it. She took you for a good spin, huh? Don't worry, bro. That love is but a drop compared to the ocean of the mother's love. Yeah, the same as the other. We eat all of you and never spit you out. Uh, let's agree to disagree. I know it will take time. Don't sweat it. I still I don't. Know it will take time. Don't sweat it. was it summer? You said. I still don't understand what you're doing in the church. How did you even find this place? I'm a Sarah Holmes. I sing the mother's glory. Okay, can you sing for me? I am from No Marietti, if that's what you're thinking. And the song I sing is Silent as the Mother. Marietti is a mesk style of music and dance, commonly seen at all manner of festivities, especially weddings. It's delightfully quaint owing to its peasant origins. How do you even find this place? Hard to say. I think I did some construction work here. Back when I still had material worries. Up there, I realized what the true purpose of the church was. Been mm -hmm. spending a lot of time here ever since. The past is nothing to me in a way. It didn't belong to me. Okay. A sinewy figure lingers on the wooden beams, blending into the shadows. If been here for a long time. Did you see the police read the book plate? Yeah. <sighs> Something like that. Did you witness it? Not really. Or at least I don't remember much of it anymore. The mother's love has done its job. That's what's so great about the mother. It lets you forget about everything. Mm, yeah. Very convenient, könnte man sagen. Some ravers want to turn this place into a nightclub. The in the tent outside? Right? I see them. Guessing they're the ones who call me a crab. Probably scared of me. Wait, do they have reason to be scared? Nah, man. They look pretty funny. And I don't harm no one anymore. Anyway. Though we used to. A long time ago. So what do you think about the nightclub that is? Why not? They wouldn't bother me none. I'm usually way up there. In Bible. Ain't no music on earth that can reach where I go. Might even be nice to have some company. He said that in spite of himself. He's more attached to the human than he'd like to think. Okay, then. Thanks. Okay, das heißt, ähm, wir haben wieder einen Auftrag erfüllt und wir haben Wasteland of Reality bekommen. Puh, minus zwei Physical Instrument in der Zwischenzeit. 
das würde das Physical Instrument, glaube ich, auf Null bringen. Insomnia Reach, Research Time 20 Hours. 20 Stunden. It has been brought to your attention that you're an alcoholic and that it's a sickness and it's killing you. You're crawling on your knees through life. Your booze filled belly dragging on the ground. Your brain now fuzzy. Now in overdrive, your hair sticking together with today's cold sweat and yesterday's vomit. Perhaps they're right. Anything is better than this. Even bone dry reality itself. Maybe you can quit? Ooh. Das klingt nach einem grausamen. Das, nach, das klingt nach was grausamen. Ich bin mir nicht sicher, ob ich das will. Okay, na gut, aber das machen wir jetzt sowieso nicht, weil wir eh schon drei Dinge tun gerade. Und warten wir mal, bis die fertig sind und was Neues tun. Auf jeden Fall, bis dahin, meine lieben Herrschaften, wir waren es für heute wieder. Wir haben Thiago kennengelernt, ein interessanter Zeitgenosse und offensichtlich gibt es noch jemanden, der hier wohnt. Die werden wir dann finden, indem wir uns den Computer anschauen, hoffentlich. Bis dann. Tschüss euch.